Alright uh, guys, that boy walked back with another video and this time it's gonna be on everybody's favorite or most hated, the top G. Alright. Now as we know he said he's a professional kickboxer and he said he has high level professional kickboxing credentials. And so now we got a little video on him fighting a fighter by the name of Wendell Roach from Holly. I actually know of Wendell Roach and met him through a fighter from Georgia named Warren Thompson, which is crazy. The fight world is small. But yeah, so here we are. Uh here he is fighting Wendell Roach, and I will say this about Wendell Roach, he is not a bum. He has fought literally any and everybody from his weight class and his era. He's even fought the great Go Gokan Saki and took him to a decision. In fact, had him in there looking crazy like Jason Voorhees for Friday the 13th. Like, it was a war. So seeing Tate in here fighting Wendell Roach lets me know one thing. he He's legit. I mean, like, he might not be A-class Rico Verhoeven, uh level fighter but i mean as you can see like he's no bum like he's in here hanging with a uh, window roach just fine in fact he's in here touching him up you know what i'm saying got his hands low but that's cool you know what i'm saying some people fight like that you know but he has good technique you know he's very smart when he's in there he knows how to move and stuff like that and you know he's doing pretty good he looks like he's a legit fighter for what i can see the only thing I want to say about Andrew Tate in this first round is one thing that I don't like that he's doing. Even though he has a hands low type of style, he probably has a Taekwondo type of background. I don't know. I've never really looked into him. But uh, he keeps his chin up really high. And so I know somebody with a higher level technical capability could definitely exploit that. So, like, that is one deficit I see in his uh, overall technical capability. His chin is sky high. Could be from the fact that he has a Taekwondo background i don't know for sure but uh yeah that's one thing i do see even when he throws that body shot like he just threw chin sky high you know looking like he want a nut bust on his face he need to drop that chin when he's fighting so but other than that he looks pretty good man he's in here boxing him up really well i thought he was more of a kicker but he's in here out punching wendell which that's supposed to be wendell's uh pedigree but uh he's in here out boxing him pretty easy you know, and uh, hanging with him like it ain't nothing. So, gotta say he is definitely a legit fighter. I know there's a lot of speculation from, like, people like Henry Cejudo and different other high-level fighters saying, like, oh, he ain't fought anybody. But, I mean, he has fought somebody. He fought, he, this might not be an A-class fighter in Wendell Roach, but he's at least C-plus, in my opinion. Yeah, the only thing that's killing me about the top G is his chin, man. His chin be sky high. Like, anybody who has a higher boxing pedigree than Wendell could easily touch that chin with an overhand or a straight right down the pipe. So that's the only thing I have with his technique that I don't really like. His chin is, even when he's throwing that combination, chin is sky high. He got to drop that chin. But otherwise, man, you can't say he's not a good fighter. Guys, if you know kickboxing, you know who he's in there with. He's in there with Gokhan Saki. Got his eye messed up. He's in there really giving him the business. You know, even though Gokhan took the uh, decision, man, I saw the whole fight a while ago, and Wendell was in there the whole time. For round one to three, he gave Gokhan hell. And backing up to the fight with Andrew Tate and Wendell Roach. I believe this is the round that he finishes him in. He already has his time, in, and he's tagging him up real well. I'm pretty sure he's going to get him out of there in this round, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, he's making it look easy. You know what I'm saying? This is a formidable fighter in Window Roach. He's not a bum. He doesn't come and lay down. He always get, puts on a good fight and makes sure that it's a war every time, as you saw in the Gokan Saki fight. But Andrew Tate has proven to be too much for him. You know, tagging him up with the hands, really just beating the brakes off of him. Like, Wendell can't even do anything. You know, really good boxing shown in this fight. You know, good knees shown in the fight. And whoop, there go the eight count. Yep, tagging him up. The ref gives him an eight count. The fight's about to be over because Wendell can't really do anything. And he's getting hit too much, you know. Look, he even looks concussed in there. Fight's over with. And he's about to get him out of there real soon now, you know. Easy work, nice side kick. Definitely got to have a taekwondo or karate background. That was beautiful. Hits him with the overhand and they stopped the fight. Easy work for Andrew Tate. Well, thank you guys for coming and let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you guys next time.